oral health has been linked to overall health. Um, is there a connection between gum disease and heart disease? Yes, <laughs> there is. And uh, um, cardiologists and dentists are kind of friends because uh, usually our dent dentist friends, they send us patients to clear them before they do oral surgery. We see that almost on a daily basis. Um, so um, in our mouth, there are bacteria. And that bacteria, in, if we have poor oral hygiene, can seep into the bloodstream and cause infection in the heart. That can be a very serious infection called endocarditis. Um, luckily, it, it is not that common, but it happens and we see it. And it can uh, cause a major change in an individual life because if the infection does not respond to antibiotics, sometimes those patients end up with cardiac surgery and valve replacement. So there is a very strong relationship between oral health and cardiac disease. There's also um, uh, some, a lot of research about plaque disease in the mouth and developing plaque disease in the heart. It is not the same. It is very different, by the way. <laughs> but there is some connection there, and there are different explanations of why that might happen. So yes, there is a strong um, relationship. As a matter of fact, just before I came to our meeting, just half an hour ago, I saw a lovely patient that I need, he needs valve surgery. And he told me, when can we do it? And I told him, uh, you go and visit with your dentist. And once your dentist finished with all the work, he, he needs a lot of work in his mouth. Once your dentist finished with all of that, this is when we're going to do cardiac surgery, but not before that, because the worst thing we can do is implant a cardiac device in the heart and then get that device infected because of poor oral hygiene. So there's a very strong relationship between both. 